I'm standing at the entrance of a cave here in the Angronia Valley in Italy. This is where the followers of Peter Waldo, called the Waldensians, would gather in the 12th century. Uh, these Piedmont valleys were filled with caves where believers in the Lord Jesus Christ would gather for the purpose of worshiping. Uh, the preachers were called Barba, which means uncle. They refused to be called father because, of course, they believed there is only one father. As we crawled down into the cave, you could see that it would house about 60 people. And it was here in the 12th century and following uh, for several hundred years that people would sing hymns. They would open the Bible that uh, Waldo himself had translated in Leon and he believed, as we believe today, in Bible authority only. And he taught them from the scriptures the truths of Jesus Christ and his salvation. Many times in their attempts to worship, uh, they would be persecuted uh, even into the late 1600s by the Duke of Savoy, not far from here in Turin. Uh, thousands of these Waldensians were thrown off these rocks. The women were speared through with spears. They were burned at the stake because they believed in Jesus Christ alone for their salvation. And when we consider our heritage as Christians, uh, we consider that these Waldensians were gathering right here uh, hundreds of years before the Reformation. They were willing to pay a price for their faith in Jesus. It's convicting and it's something that should remind us today uh, that Jesus said if we would follow him, we're to take up our cross and follow him willingly. These, in generations past, paid that price. Uh, even scholars here in Italy have written of the Protestant uh, days here in this part of Italy. And uh, we thank the Lord that as we study our Baptist history, uh, men and women were willing to pay such a price, meeting in places like this, to worship the Lord Jesus Christ.